Apply toothpaste to the scissors. You'll be surprised how effective this method is. You'll sharpen your scissors quickly and easily at home. You'll do it thanks to toothpaste. The dullest scissors will cut like new. Every pair of scissors dulls and rusts with use. This creates a problem with cutting various things. But it can be changed. To sharpen scissors, you only need things you have at home. Start by using toothpaste. Any toothpaste you have at home will do. Apply toothpaste to the entire blade of the scissors. Take a paper towel and spread it over the scissors. Do it carefully. Coat the scissors with toothpaste on both sides. Leave the toothpaste on the scissors for about five minutes. After that time, take a clean, dry piece of paper and wipe the scissors. Toothpaste removes various stains perfectly. It degreases and removes stains. It also removes initial rust spots. Once you wipe the scissors with toothpaste, sharpening them will be much easier. You can do this with tools you have at home, like a screwdriver, for example. Try cutting it and dragging it across the metal. You won't believe it, but it sharpens the scissors perfectly. If you don't have such tools, take a piece of ordinary aluminum foil, fold it into several pieces and cut it. This is also how you sharpen any scissors. Apply toothpaste to a knife. You'll be amazed by the results. If the knife is dull and you don't have a sharpener, this trick will surely come in handy. Apply toothpaste to both sides of the blade. Then, take a ceramic bowl and place it upside down. Sprinkle it generously with salt. Also, add a tablespoon of vinegar. Rub the knife at an angle against the edge of the ceramic. Salt and toothpaste disinfect the blade and enhance the sharpening effect. Ceramic is an excellent alternative to a sharpener. The knife will cut like new. This trick will make ironing much faster. Just spread aluminum foil on the ironing board. It's important to place it with the shiny side up. Then iron the clothing. The foil reflects heat from the board, which straightens both sides of the fabric. Just run the iron over a few times and you're done. Sprinkle baking soda on burnt pots. Stop wasting money. Just sprinkle salt on the burnt pot. This trick is brilliant. I'll show you what a spectacular application it can have. Watch the video until the end. I'll show you in a few simple steps. Get a small container. Pour a tablespoon of salt into it. It's just ordinary table salt, the one you happen to use. Add three large tablespoons of dishwashing liquid to it. It doesn't matter which liquid you use. Any will do. Pour one tablespoon of white vinegar into it. Now mix all the ingredients until the salt dissolves. It will take a moment. The mixture is finally ready. I'll show you how to use it. You'll see it on this pot. Its bottom is dirty and burnt from milk. Dip the kitchen sponge into the mixture. Start scrubbing the bottom of the pot. That amount of mixture is enough to scrub such a dirty pot. You can try this trick in your home. You surely have the products you need for it. See how simple it is. The effects are instantaneous, even though the pot was very burnt. The mixture handled it. It's a simple and inexpensive method. Place aluminum foil and a pin from the can into the television. You'll be able to watch all the TV channels in the world. All you need is a small piece of aluminum foil and a pin from the can. Also, prepare a package of Chinese instant noodles in a large container. Set aside the contents of the dish, as we won't need them. Line the inside of the box with foil. Wrap the edge of the container carefully. Use a drill to make a hole in the center. Thread the TV cable connector through the hole. Use hot glue to attach it to the box. Prepare about 10 centimeters of TV cable. Remove the insulation from the middle of the cable, leaving only the inner conductor. Leave about two centimeters of wire at the other end. Attach the connector tip to it. Take a can of any beverage. Pour it into a glass. Detach the tab from the can. We need it to watch TV. Secure the other end of the TV cable to it. Now, prepare the TV cable.
cut and gently remove the outer insulation. Fold back the braid. Remove the dielectric. Attach the connector. Do the same at the other end of the cable. Attach the cable with the can tab inside the container lined with foil. This will be our antenna. Screw the cable end with the TV connector to the other side of the container. Attach the antenna plug to the end of the cable. And that's it. Just plug it into the TV and watch any channels. Properly positioned, it will allow you to watch all channels. A deep cleaning and disinfecting floor wash for the area around the toilet. Into the bucket, pour a bowl of baking soda. It's a slightly abrasive substance, which effectively cleans surfaces of dirt. It has an alkaline reaction, neutralizing acids and absorbing unpleasant odors. Next, add a tablespoon of Domestos. It's a substance that eliminates 99% of germs. It eradicates bacteria, fungi, and viruses. Another ingredient is dish soap. Pour a tablespoon into the bucket. It's excellent for removing greasy stains from the floor. Additionally, it has shining properties and leaves no streaks. Add another dish soap. Then, add half a measure of floor cleaner. It has a lovely scent and makes the floor shine like a mirror. The secret ingredient is fabric softener. Add one-third of a measure. Just a bit of this substance is enough. It has anti-static properties. Thanks to it, dust doesn't settle as strongly. Pour everything with a glass of vinegar. If you want a floral scent to linger in the bathroom for many days, you can add a few laundry scent boosters. Pour two liters of boiling water into the bucket, then add some cold water. Warm water cleans much more effectively. Additionally, it activates the cleaning substances. With this prepared mixture, wash the floor around and under the toilet. It's the dirtiest place in the entire bathroom. I do such thorough tile cleaning once every three months. The unpleasant smell of urine and moisture disappears. Don't throw away an empty ketchup bottle. It has a brilliant use in the kitchen that greatly facilitates cooking. Its shape and the materials it's made of have fantastic functions. Tossing it into the trash is a mistake. When the ketchup is finished, unscrew the cap and thoroughly wash its interior. Then, prepare a blender pitcher. Peel a banana and break it into smaller pieces, then toss it into the blender. Add four tablespoons of flour. Prepare a small package of vanilla cream cheese. Finally, crack two eggs into the mixture. Blend everything into a smooth batter. Then, transfer it into the ketchup bottle. Finally, screw on the cap. The ketchup cap has a larger opening than other sauces. This is important because it's great for portioning small pancakes. Just squeeze the batter onto a heated pan. Without mess, you can make perfect mini pancakes. My kids love them. If you don't use all the batter, just close the bottle and put it in the fridge. The kitchen stays clean. Making pancakes using a ketchup bottle is pure pleasure.